Aaron, you're going to have fans in here tomorrow. What was the worst part about having piped in crowd noise? <laughs> um, I don't know about the worst part of that. Uh, it just wasn't fans. You know, it wasn't the, uh, you know, and, and even just to get a little bit of taste of that in spring training, you know, there were, you know, a couple of games where, you know, where you had a few thousand and, and it made a difference. It makes a difference. And, you know, however many we end up with, it was a nine or 10,000 tomorrow. Um, you know, nine or 10,000 fans in the Bronx is going to be, is going to be fun to experience again. I know that the players are incredibly excited to play in front of a crowd and, uh, man, hopefully it's just the start of, you know, starting to see our attendance really grow and, and, and get our sport all the way back to where, uh, where it belongs. But we're, we're really looking forward to fans being part of it tomorrow. Aaron, any, any final questions, anything that bothers you, anything that, you know, keeps you up at night? Um, a little of everything, I guess. Um, you know, uh, hopefully I can, you know, get, get a decent night's sleep tonight. Um, but there's always things you're thinking about, concerned about, um, you know, want to get off on, on the right foot and everything, you know, you know, I, we put so much into the first day and the first days and, you know, so it, it's nice when players can get some of their firsts out of the way and things like that and really kind of get settled into that next season, but, um, or settled into the season and the routine and the grind of it all. Um, but I think tomorrow is a day, you know, I've always felt this way going back to when I was a little kid and then being able to make my major league debut in Cincinnati, uh, in a place that, you know, really celebrates opening day. And it's such a big deal. Um, you know, it's a special day and, you know, one of the you know, one of the things I try to make sure to get across to our guys is what an honor and a privilege and it is to, you know, suit up on opening day in the major leagues on top of that for the New York Yankees. Um, it's a big deal. It's something to be proud of. It's something to be celebrated. And uh, it'll be nice to see guys be able to share that a little more with their families this year, you know, with different – with families being in and, um, you know it, – it, it, it's a day that I try and make sure that, you know, I celebrate properly, um, you know, especially with all we've been through in the last year as we hopefully slowly but surely return to a more normal environment. But t tomorrow's special around this game. Aaron, you kind of just touched on this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. You've been in baseball your entire life. When I say the words opening day, what does that trigger for you? What is the meaning of, of that two word phrase for you? joy holiday um you know growing up as a kid you know my dad debuting in 1972 a few months before i was born so i grew up in the bill giles phillies veteran stadium always a uh you know whether it was the great melinda tight roping over veteran stadium they always had it pretty they blew it out on opening day and then did, get to live and experience being a Cincinnati red opening day. And then now my fourth one here, um, <clears throat> I've been in, it's just, it just, it, it means a lot. It's special. You know, I, I think back to, uh, my first opening day and my dad, uh, sending me like a telegram, you know, it was before, you know, text messages and all that were, uh, just, just with a message of good luck, you know, spit in their eye, go get them. Um, it's, it's a, it, it's a celebration of our sport and, uh, a sport that I've loved my entire life. And, uh, I try to give it its proper due in, in that regard, especially on opening day. Aaron, how important is the beginning of the season that given that you start with 15 games against divisional opponents? Um, they're all important. It all matters. Um, you know, uh, you hope to get off to a good start, obviously. I feel like, you know, f from a spring training standpoint, and, and I feel like our guys are prepared and physically ready to go, and there's some comfort in that. Um, but it's hard, you know, 
every game matters. It's such a long season. Um, so we certainly want to get off to that good start, especially when you're talking about division opponents who, you know, are, are going to be fighting tooth and nail probably with us for the division. Um, so it's always nice to rack up as many wins as you possibly can. Um, but that said, it's it's the beginning. And, and, you know, to be a champion, to to be able to go out and win this division, you've got to play pretty consistent baseball throughout the year. So a hot start, a slow start, whatever, um, you know, 162, you know, is a separator. And <clears throat> you've got to be, you got to be legit and you got to be real if you're going to survive that grind and, and, and ultimately get yourself in the postseason. And um, you certainly can't do that right away, but, you know, the, the more we can rack up along the way, the better.